welcome back to our third and hopefully final video request on patching. So in the previous video we looked at patching the arm and pegging. Now if you notice from the first video where I had that ball joint for the torso this one and I told you it has to do with later on for the upper arm I'm actually going to show you how to do that now of course yours doesn't have to protrude this much but this is like probably like front view or three quarter of view now the only thing I really have to do is to clean up my upper arm alright so what you could do with more than one ways you could have drawing substitution for it you could use a another layer and you know like we did with the lower arm patch you could just do something like this but I'm just just going to directly affect it because I don't foresee me needing to change my arm for future because well this is just practice but for you like I was saying giving you the options you can do it as a drawing substitution where you clip off the top you could use another art layer and do that so here we go simple quick and easy just going to close gap so I'm going to close gap and I'll just bring up K again this right there right there get my cutter tool click that delete and come to my camera view and so you'll see this little bald point there and my light table is done so I'll turn that off and you have something like this now of course if you're wearing like a vest you probably won't need to do that but this is what happens when I do this now I can rotate my arm freely I could stretch it out this way and do that and it looks like it comes over when this comes down you can see that it looks like it's a part of the drawing and even if I stretch my arm out like so it will look like well, I'm stretching on my arm and it's just like one big drawing so in a sense that's kinda how you might do a pseudo patch for an arm to a torso depending on the body part you might want to try out different things but patching like I was saying essentially covers your lines some shortcuts you can note. and I'll tell them to you is having to do with the timelines and the drawings now you could actually flip through the hierarchy if you so desire using some shortcuts and you can also flip through the drawings that you have in your well your layers your drawing layers so if I was to work with say well I have the upper arm and the lower arm and some hand so I click on torso and go on my rotation tools you notice everything is selected you can actually go up and down the hierarchy if you actually notice over here alright so the instructions are these if you notice the torso so if I press shift B I'll go down the hierarchy Note my arm. Or you can even note the network. Shift B again, I'm at lower arm. Shift B again, I'm at hand. Or lower arm drawing. And I go down to the patch. If I choose, say, from torso, and I shift B, and shift B, if I press B, I go back up the hierarchy. So that's another shortcut to use. So say you wanted to move your arm characters quickly, say upper arm, shift B, lower arm, shift B, 
you know stuff like that so you take that into consideration also if you actually want to move quickly through your layers you just go through each of either H or J so note my network I choose H I'm at torso H upper arm H and lower arm torso again so we're basically going all around the place so you can do that to select your drawings too so those are the few instructions I have for you note what we did earlier the whole upper arm thing where we just cut off the top and note that I said there's more than one way to do it you can do it with drawing substitutions you can do it with a different art layer for your drawings or you can do it the way I did it so thank you for watching leave your comments below and if you have a request just let me know on my page thank you very much for watching God bless.